Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Nate Pick, and welcome to my tech world. So I had did a live stream the other day, and I realized there was a few things that I had forgotten about that I needed to turn off. One of the things was in the settings, I did turn off the dock down here, but one thing I forgot was in the actual extensions, you also have to turn off the Cosmic Dock as well in order for the Dash to Dock animator and the Dash to Dock for Cosmic to work properly. And as you can see, it works just like as intended and it does fairly nice. So just a reminder, quick reminder to look at that and say, okay, yeah, that's what I need to do. But today, what I want to do is actually install one of the what I consider one of the best terminal emulators, and that is Tilex. So for anybody that's running Ubuntu or a Debian-based system, it's going to be sudo. Now, technically, you wouldn't put apt here, but I run Nala, which is just a front end for apt, which also makes apt kind of a little bit faster. So I'm going to type Nala install Tilex. Enter my super secure password here. Yes, I want to install all of that. Okay, so now should be installed and I can exit out. Now we're gonna go and notice that it's right here, but I'm actually gonna pin it to my dash because I really like Tilex and I actually like it over GNOME Terminal. So I'm going to unpin it. Now, when I open this, You'll notice that some of my settings are already set because I had actually pre-recorded this video and realized that OBS messed up and didn't record the entire video. So now I'm re-recording. So I'm going to show you the steps that I did in order to get to this point. So we're going to go into profile and I'm going to set it back to where it normally is. So go here and you put it on normal, put this on normal. And then we're going to go to default and I believe this is 24 that's here. And then this is 80, I believe is the terminal size. And then this was no transparency whatsoever. Okay. So I'm going to exit out and now I'm going to reopen Tilex. And this is how it was before. And as you can see, I think personally it is very, very ugly. I don't like the look of it. I think it needs a lot of improvements. So for me, what I have done was I'm going to do this in reverse now because I had to undo what I did. So now that I can redo what I had already done. Yeah, put that on a pillow. Anyways, so here... Uh, is Tilex and this is the way that I like to run it so the first thing you're going to do is come up and go to this little arrow here and view your profiles and hit the edit profile of course you've seen it I had it at 110 and I had this at 64 for certain reasons because whenever I turn this off to have no borders whatsoever so it's going to be borderless and it's going to be none so it's going to get rid of that part right there and you notice that one's real time this one doesn't go away until you restart then i'm going to go back into default and go over to colors and then i'm going to adjust my transparency i like it a little bit transparent but i still like to have a little bit of shade between the difference of the background and the transparency so this is set for me so now when i hit exit and i come back and i click on Tilex it's going to immediately show this whole thing as a full screen. Okay. So with Tilex, one of the things that you can do is actually, you know, multiple different things here. So let's say if I want to do that. Okay. So you can have four different terminals open and you can do more like, you know, if I wanted to split this again, right. So I hit clear here and then clear here but I have two more so you can open up quite a bit within Tolix and it's it's more accustomed to not as far as setting where the windows are opening it's actually where you tell it to so 
in order to open it right, so it would be control alt right, then it open up another one, or you can hit control alt D, which is for down, and then it opens one underneath. So that is the key bindings that you can use. Now I want to show you something else that is also possible. And you'll kind of see one of my little tricks here. Let me show you how I did that. Okay, so now I'm in my system settings, in particular in the keyboard shortcuts. And one of the things that I modified, you notice there's a modification right here, that the lock screen is actually on Pop OS is Super Escape. I don't like that because I'm used to Super L, which is a Windows key binding, which I know I'm not running Windows, but I like being able to just hit super L because my brain is wired to that. So I immediately put the lock screen as super L delete the super escape and I come down and I made custom shortcuts. So one of the first ones I did was this one's called run Tilex. So instead of the terminal being super T and it pulling up GNOME terminal. Now when I hit super T it's going to run Tilex, which this is how you set it up. And then the next one is run X kill. And you notice that one is super escape. So in order to get X kill as a command, you normally have to push alt F2 and then type X kill. And then it will give you that command to do what for me, I like it as a quick and easy. Let's just kill the whole application. So super escape, boom, X kill runs. And as soon as that runs, it kills the whole application. And that's one of the reasons why I enjoy using Linux instead of Windows because it actually just works. So that is something that some key bindings that you could set up for yourself. It don't have to be the same as mine. That's understandable if you don't want to use it, that's okay. But for me, that's how it works and it works very well. So before I leave, I want to show you that in action again, once again, now if I hit super T, Tilex pulls up, everything's working. My auto hide with that is working as well. And then say, if I just want to open up some terminals here, let's say I want B top there and I'll say B top here and we'll run B top again and we'll run B top again, just because for the fun of it, let's just make that work. Or if you want, I can also do, you know, C matrix. I believe I installed C matrix here. Yep. So C matrix here. Now I'm clicking over here. Let's kill this one. Let's just say, uh, what else do I want to run? Did I install Hollywood? I don't think I did. Yeah. So, okay. So Hollywood is installed now. So now we'll just, I'll just type in Hollywood if I can spell. And now it's running and it's doing its little thing. And of course, you know, if you ever seen a movie, this is kind of what's pulling up here. Let's go up here and see if I actually installed TTY clock, which I think I did. Yeah. So let's say I've got a bunch of things that's running, right? And I'm trying to do multiple different things. So instead of having to hit like control C to cancel each terminal, for me, it's just a lot easier just to hit super escape and I killed all the processes and it's, that's it. So that's just the ways that some things that I use for Tilex and I use it as a terminal for me, it, for my workflow, it makes a lot more sense for me. So once again, you can kind of tweak it the way that you like it. You can kind of tweak it the way that you like to look at it. But personally, I like it with no borders. So when I actually do the tiling that it's made for, it actually does a really good job of actually still looking good, but being very functional. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I have for today. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And also please leave some comments because uh, commenting down below does help the channel. I also have some links to social media. I'm not going to tell you where they are. You just going to look for them. They are listed down below. So other than that, that's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed it. God bless. Have a good one. Peace.